I'm here with head coach Chad Warner and senior captain Chris Metzger. Um, coach, you just want to open up about, you know, the role Chris has played over four years and seeing him get to this moment at the Elite Eight. Well, I'll tell you, it's been, it's been special uh, for me personally getting to watch his growth and development over the past four years. Uh, physically, obviously, he's, he's quite the quite the specimen, but he's also just matured so much. And his steady leadership um, really over the past two years, but in particular this year, has been um, obviously his play has been phenomenal. I think he's one of the top two or three in the country in field goal percentage. Um, but he is just such a solid leader for our team, and I have no doubt um, we would not be where we were, where we are without him, and certainly are not going to be able to, would not be able to accomplish what we hope to accomplish without him. So I'm just so thankful for him, and and I know every one of his teammates and coaches would echo that sentiment. And he is a a special young man. And Chris, what about for you? You know, when you came here four years ago, did you imagine you know being in this moment and you know heading to Evansville in a few days? I mean, I think everybody kind of comes in and imagines it, and it's just an amazing feeling. Like, I've seen it more times than anybody else here. P new people coming in like, oh, this is going to be the year, this is going to be the year. And then this year to actually have that statement coming true, it's just an amazing feeling of seeing the growth of our team from beating two D1s to coming in and losing to North Georgia, and then we just completely flipped the switch and turned it around. So it was just a great thing to watch and be a part of. So. And coach, you want to add anything else to that? Well, I just, you know, it's, uh, he uses the term flip the switch. I, I would say um, what's been neat for me is, is just seeing the way these guys work and have trusted each other and what's in front of them every single day. And um, so it's been really special um, just to see some, some fruit of that labor. Um, but, you know, we have I mean, we have bigger goals in front of us, and, and uh, we're excited about the opportunity to go compete. I will say this, the, um, the turnout in Valdosta at the regional was, I mean, it was almost overwhelming to see how many people traveled to that game and the support and hearing us sort of take over that arena was amazing. And so we want to thank you uh, as a team for the support. And then if you can't make it to Evansville, maybe trek again and see if you can. Uh, but then if you really can't, you know, the watch parties back home and, and uh, just that collective spirit that we feel right now has been awesome. And we want to thank you and we want to ask you to keep keep fighting with us because we can promise you that that's what we're going to do. We're, gonna, we're going after it. And so we're excited about it.